What are the most important changes for entrepreneurs that 2020 has leaving us? Stay and I will tell you. Happy present moment. Welcome to Janet Salvatero TV. I am your hostess. 2020 has been the realization of a Chinese course. May you have interesting times. Much has changed in 2020, but not everything is negative. Change if is uncomfortable and it can hurt us immediately in the short term. Uh, like, a, like when we get sick, when we lose our job or a loved family member. But also there are uncomfortable changes at the beginning that in the long run can open up new opportunities for enjoyment and in the case of the female entrepreneur, new opportunities to grow our businesses. Today, I want to share with you the three changes that, in my opinion, came to stay, to be part of the much mentioned new normal. That, and these three changes um, are those that if we know how to take them, how to implement them, will increment the, our access to new, new businesses and also they may simplify our lives as entrepreneurs. To learn more about entrepreneurship and other, and, and other content I'm sharing here, remember to subscribe to this channel, activate notifications, clicking on the bell, and to share this video, leave a uh, live if you like it, and a comment sharing your opinions or your questions and any requests that you may have about any other subject uh, around entrepreneurship, emotional intelligence, leading, leadership and productivity. What are those three changes I'm talking about? First, changes in the economy both at the microeconomic or personal level as and the macroeconomic or uh, related to national and international markets. The, um, the actors has changed, the actors in the market, because many companies have disappeared, other have changed in size, and above all, they have reached a greater level of consciousness about um, the market. They are paying more attention to the financial uh, metrics and processes of these companies, savings for instance, the use of credit, price readjustments to adapt to a new consumer pattern and to the commercial exchange. As entrepreneurs, we, we may always be uh, attentive to our finances or at least it should be like that. But in 2020, after the global recession caused by the effects of the pandemic, we have to pay even more attention um, to monitor our cost structure, finding how and where to save money and invest in those activities that offer us a greater return on investments. Contrary of you, as uh, the, the, the one that you may think, um, this is the time for reviewing processes and investigate how to make yourself or your company more efficient through the use of processes and systems. This brings me to the second big change, which came with the COVID to stay, the use of technology and in all processes of the company. This fact can represent a big change for companies small or, or that were, were created before the digital age, back in the 70s or earlier. At that time, computers and in general technology was used almost exclusively by large corporations or companies with integrated operations from manufacturing to distribution. Today, technology has been democratized uh, in its use and access, and it's, um, it also made possible the um, 
that, that more and more uh, people and companies may enjoy its benefits. In the case of entrepreneurs and businesses that are starting or still growing, technology can offer many advantages in various departments and processes, starting with customer support, marketing and sales. Technology today can, it can offer many options diversity of applications, devices, technologies, based uh, methodologies for working, uh, ranging from the simplest to the most, the most complex. The important fact here is, don't be afraid to technology. There to learn how to use it, request help, hire a consultants, consultancy services if, nece if necessary to improve customer pro or, or company processes using technology from simple applications like the ones used to schedule your task to share read writing or um, audiovisual information because uh, customer data and their consumption patterns including the omnipresent mm, digital marketing uh, up to even more sophisticated systems as virtual stores or automation of manufacturing are, and logistic processes. Finally, and the, in the center of all these changes stands the human being. And that's the third factor of the third change uh, bring uh, uh, to us by the, by the pandemic. Specifically, this human being relates to us, to, enter, to the entrepreneur, men and women who create wealth uh, through our cre creativity and, um, and, and innovation. We have changed as individuals because we have become more aware of the value of other human beings, from our employees, allies, and even from our competitors. But above all, more aware of our clients and their new needs as a result of the changes in the economy and the social dynamics imposed by the social distancing due to the impact of information technology, especially if our clients belong to the group of people fearful of technology or uh, without those skills and possibilities to use technology to continue being our clients. The latter will Lead, lead us to as entrepreneurs and also as human beings to put even more effort and simplify the way clients interact with our company. It is not only thinking, oh, well, uh, put an ad in Facebook and that's it. There are people that although they see Facebook, they're still wary of doing an online purchase by credit card or that they need an additional mechanism besides the online one, like telephone communications and the ads on TV or radio. Ensuring that all these communication mechanisms and channels exist to reach to all kinds of clients without destroying the cost structure of the company demands more information, leadership, and empathy skills from the, oh, on the part of the business manager or entrepreneur. So change the business mindset, harmonize the rational and emotional uh, criteria for when making decisions and implementing new processes and offerings to the market. Last but not least, the mindset the mindset of the new entrepreneur must be open to collaborations with other entrepreneurs to create alliances to more to offer more interesting products or services lower the cost by sharing uh, in the investments for example a collaboration between a fashion entrepreneur and a travel agency to create pieces that remembers the places to be visited or that have been visited, a photography or and a culinary creator that may that can make joint efforts to create 
uh, or offer an unforgettable experience to a young family that res is receiving a new baby. There are so many ideas as entrepreneurs they exist. Just open yourself to the possibility of collaboration and if you need help with this and other strategies to, to grow your business, contact me to explore together how I can help you. For now, to adapt to flow with the changes in the economy, technology, and in the entrepreneurial mindset. With those changes came with the COVID to stay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Blessings for you, for you and your business. And we'll meet meeting very soon in an upcoming episode of Janet Salvatierra TV. Bye.